Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to call API in React using Axios. As you can see, this is a code API that generates random codes every time I click the button. Well, I have already created my React app. The drawer is totally empty and we are ready to get started. First of all, we need some tool called Axios. Uh, let's install it using npm install Axios dash dash save. Hit enter. And wait until installation is complete. Great. Close the terminal and uh, let's import it inside our app.js. Import Axios from Axios. Great. Next thing we need to do is to create a function so we can actually uh, call our API over there. Let's create this function called new code, which is an error function inside which we're going to use our axis. So call axis and then the request, which is a get request, since we are going to extract data from this API URL. And then inside get, we need to paste our API URL. Well, mine is uh, some URL from codable random, which you know generates random codes whenever it is called. All right. You know, Axios has some uh, ability to parse the data to JSON, so we don't need to do it separately. Then we need this then statement inside which we can actually console log our response, for example. Let's create the error function and then console log our data which is response in this case. All right. And we also need to catch the error. Don't you forget that. So whenever we have an error, we can actually console log it simply. All right, save the changes. And inside the return body, let's create a button uh, that calls this function whenever it is clicked. So let's create it. Let's give it a class name of btn, btn info, which is blue, and the text would be display new code. All right. And the unclick method would be this new code function. So let's invoke it right here. Uh, let's wrap our content in a container. And add some margin. Let's go to developer mode and take a look. All right. If I click on this button, you can see that there's something here. It's a JSON object. You can see the fields. Uh, there are some fields here, you know, data is the one that we need inside which, uh, you know, there's the code content, code author, and some of the things. So it's working and the data is parsed into a JSON object successfully, as you can see. The next thing I want to do is to access the code content using data content. That's how we can actually access the field of the JSON object. And uh, let's console log something like this code is set by, and then we have the author inside the data. You can access it like response.data.author. All right, now we can see something better on the console if I refresh the page and click on the button. Oh yeah, you can see every time I click on it, there's a new code set by, you no, know, the author name is also here, okay. Great. Uh, now let's display uh, this data uh, on a DOM element. But before that, let's migrate uh, into a component. Let's create a new file called something like API call.js. Well, and import React on top. And then export our function, export default. 
function, the name, which is API call. Uh, sorry, it should be capitalized. All right. All right. And uh, let's copy everything right here and paste inside our component. And also the return body. And import Axios inside the component and we're done with it. And here we need to import our component. Import API call. It's the name of the function. And here we need the return. And a tag of our component. All right. You see that it's totally the same. And okay. Let's add uh, our data to our DOM elements. In order to do that, let's create some states here. Const content, for example, and the set content as a set state is use state. Don't forget to import it. And initial value is an empty string. All right. And here, let's set the value of the state to a response. All we need to do is to call the set content, and inside of the set content, we should put our response. Great. Let's add some layout here. Like. Content inside an h2 tag, some styling, text success, so it is green. Let me add some margin here into the container. And let's also add a state for the author as well, so we can see the author on the screen set author and another use state empty string okay now let's set the value of the state right here to response dot data dot author all right and let's display it here in a paragraph tag let me give it some class of text success Mm -hmm. and the state value, which is author. Let me add this. Another margin. And a bit of margin button. As you can see, every time I click the button, uh, a new request is sent to the API URL and a new response is received. This is how we can actually uh, call API using Axios. Hope you learn how to do it. Thanks for watching.